Hey guys, welcome back to Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands. We are going to show you our 60 new additions from Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands. The mini shelves. And speaking of mini shelf, we have just installed a new one right here. As well as the figures from the Monster Island Room. Alright guys, back in the basement, Dino Dungeon, as you can see, all of the figures are in this box. We will be placing every single figure, display them right here on a table together, and check this out guys. We have a couple of new items to open up together to review, okay? Are you guys ready? It's gonna be super exciting. Let's get started. Alright guys, so let's begin by taking a look at this thing that I just purchased from Universal Studio China. Yes, I got this online. It looks really cool. You know, we can actually display this right in the middle. Yep, it's basically like a snow globe of a Jurassic World. With some glitter inside, it looks very, very cool. The condition is not great, it's not fantastic, but it's really, really cool. Universal Studios Beijing. And I think we can actually pull this out can, let's turn this on not too sure where we're at oh check this out guys it's actually changing colors looks pretty good let's place this in the middle right in the middle okay but i don't think you are able to see the colors really really well it's not exactly super bright yet so let's just place it in the middle it will form a very very nice logo okay next up let's have a look at this one we actually have the entire set already. It is basically like a mini diorama. We also got this from Universal Studios in China. So let's have a look at this. It's basically a mini diorama. All right, let me try to open it. It's really, really hard to open as you can see. All right, let me try my best. Okay, there you go. Oh, what did we get? Okay, let's check this out. It basically comes with a litter leaflet. This is an official Jurassic World product. As you can see, there's a litter packaging right here. Let's open this up together. It's really cute. It's basically blue. So we have to attach this onto the mini diorama base just pop it right in okay pop it right in like this i need a second okay check this out so it's basically blue in the forest and you can see a litter pick i think the litter pick was basically seen in the jurassic world movie as well you press this and blue will just spring right open very very adorable i think even the head can move upwards like this so it's very beautiful there are a lot more different dioramas but this one is definitely one of the better ones super cool looking yeah what do you guys think let me know down below i'm just gonna close it and put it right in the middle and now it's time for us to take a look at the other figures okay so recently we also added this too which is the crushy vars so the crush reverse are actually like mini snap squad. We have a Triceratops right over here. And this one, it's basically the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So both are super adorable. Okay, let's place them in the middle. And it's time for us to lay every single figure on the table together. Let's do this. Okay, so this is actually one of the latest ones as well. The Hammond Collection, Colonel Taurus. Really beautiful. I love the beautiful, clear, translucent glass eyes. They are absolutely gorgeous. This is another one, which is one of the latest Hammond Collection figures, the Dimetrodon. Beautiful, prehistoric sign of seat. This one, let's place it right over here. And let's move on to another carnival. What is this? Megalosaurus. Is this considered the Epic Attack or Epic Rev Evolution? I think it's from the Epic Evolution. It also comes with a scan code that you guys may want to add to your collection. So, very, very cool. 
you know, these are basically some of the latest 2024 figures. Okay, next, we'll take a look at our first herbivore of the day. This is the Tojangosaurus. Alright, this is basically from the strike attack, I suppose. I can't really remember. I'm gonna put it right over here. Gorgeous one. Okay, next up. This is quite a new figure, Nijasaurus. Alright, this is a Nijasaurus Wow Raw figure. Let me show you guys the scan code as well. Pause the video and add this to your Jurassic World Facts app. One comment from one question for you guys. Name the two super colossal dinosaur figures at the back. This one should be super simple. The other one might be a little bit harder for you. Okay, while you are considering it, let me show you guys my latest Jurassic Park edition. This is a Dimetrodon, a vintage Dimetrodon. This is a really beautiful one. The condition of this is absolutely mint. As you can see, there are like no flaws at all for this figure. So it's really beautiful. I have a previous version, which is also in tip top condition. As you can see, they are pretty much the same. In terms of the sculpt, they are exactly the same. But in terms of the coloration, they are totally different. Which one do you guys like more? This one, it's super vibrant. It is basically like turquoise color. I think it looks very, very cool. Which one do you guys like more? Let me know down below. Okay, next we'll take a look at the latest Plesiosaurus. Yep, we have four different Plesiosaurus figures so far. This is basically the latest one. It also comes with a unique code for you to add to your Jurassic World Facts app. So Plesiosaurus is if I'm not wrong, can you guys please let me know down in the comments what does the name mean for a Plesiosaurus? Okay, another recent figure that we have just added. This is actually taken from a Copter Combat Pack. Okay, it's pretty. It's actually a pretty old figure, but we have only just unboxed it only two weeks ago, and I really like it. If you take a look at this, this is the only Pteranodon with metallic paint on its body. Really gorgeous stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Let me move the camera back so that we have more space. How about right here? It's gonna look awesome. Okay, next up. This one. Epic Attack Tyrannosaurus Rex. You guys should have seen this before. And speaking of new T-Rex, guys, there will be a new Chaos Theory Tyrannosaurus Rex coming out really soon, okay? I am super excited. Do you guys know when is the new season of Camp Cretaceous coming out? It is known as Chaos Theory. It will be out in May this summer. I am super excited, guys. I am totally, totally delighted. That, which means there will be a lot more new figures coming out really soon, guys. I am super, super excited. Okay, what is this? This is the latest Stegosaur. Latest Stegosaur read, okay? Craterosaurus right over here. This is actually from the Danger Pack. You can see it has plenty of spikes. If you compare it with the Stegosaurus, the Stegosaurus only has four spikes. If this one has massive number of spikes on its tail. Beautiful one. The coloration looks fantastic as well. Let me just place this one right over here. Okay, next up, we have another herbivore. This is the Aversaratops. Oh my goodness, I've totally forgotten to show you guys the scan code for this. Let me just pull it up. Check this out. Pause the video and add this to your Jurassic World Facts app, okay? Beautiful figure. I love it. And speaking of beautiful figure, this is another one. This is the latest Ceratopsian. Ever Ceratops right over here. Really gorgeous one. And let me show you guys the code. You can pause the video and add this to your Jurassic World Facts app. Really gorgeous stuff. Okay, next up. Wait a minute, guys. This is perhaps one of the 
rarest figure so far in 2024. I'm not too sure, but I think it is slowly getting distributed to more areas right now. Initially, this figure was not found in many countries. I was very fortunate because Mrs. Dan actually got it for me from China. She went there for a trip and she came back with two of these figures for me. Yep, really gorgeous. Epic Attack, Baryonyx. This is a really beautiful one. Let me just put this right at the back. Okay, gorgeous Baryonyx. I really love the turquoise patterns it has, they have placed around the eyes. I actually prefer metallic paint, but too bad they didn't add any metallic paint. Okay, next up, let's have a look at another figure that I really, really like, okay? Oh, wait a minute. I haven't shown you guys the code, did I? All right, have a look. Check this out. Pause the video and add this to your Jurassic World Facts app. And here's another one. Drypusukus. I love prehistoric crocodiles, guys. Do you guys love... I actually love prehistoric animals, so I hope Mattel can come up with more species of prehistoric animals. I'm waiting for a Smilodon. Do you guys know what is a Smilodon? Let me show you quickly. Okay, guys, I have just fished up a couple of prehistoric animals from my prehistoric animal shelf right over there. And let me show... Let me quickly show you guys what is a Smilodon. So this is basically a Smilodon, a prehistoric big cat. All right, it has two huge canine teeth. So this is actually super cool. I am hoping Mattel can actually come up with a Smilodon that will be epic. And check this out. This is another really, really cool prehistoric reptile. Probably not a reptile, it's known as Smok. Smok. S-M-O-K. It looks like a prehistoric crocodile. Really beautiful. This is 100% a prehistoric crocodile. This is a Caprosuchus, I think, if I'm not wrong. Really gorgeous one. Hopefully, we can, got, we can get more figures like this. And this one, it's a Caprosuchus as well. Okay. And here is... What do we... I think this is a Prestosuchus. Let me check. Yeah, Prestosuchus. So, I love all these prehistoric animals. Hopefully are able to get different species really soon. I want you guys to comment down below which is the prehistoric animal you want to see in the Jurassic World franchise. Next, we have our one and only one of one Oko Raptor. Why did I say one of one? Because check this out. It has a little stubby toe. I think this is a manufacturing error and I feel this is the only one. Okoraptor, beautiful feather dinosaur as you can see. It also has huge claws, which reminds me of the Therizinosaurus, you know, figure. And you might want to scan this code and add it to your Jurassic World Facts app as well. Let me just put the Okoraptor right over here. Gorgeous star. Recently, we also added quite a few just give me a second, guys. A new Epic Attack Herrerasaurus. This is also the one of the latest Epic Attack figures. Check this out. If you press the button, the lights will actually flash. It does, doesn't just light up, it will actually flash. Yep, new figure, new Herrerasaurus, new code to add to your collection. And it also comes with a movable jaw. This is a very beautiful figure, quite rare to find as well. Took me quite some time to actually locate this. And slightly earlier, there were also a couple of other Epic Attack figures like the Dilophosaurus. Let me just put it right over here. This is looking very nice so far. Okay, another Epic Evolution figure. Eric Sinatosaurus right over here. Gorgeous star. If you spin the wheel, the neck will move, the jaw will open up. So this is a very gorgeous figure as well. I'm gonna put it right at the back. Just give me a second. Looks really nice. I'm gonna put it right beside the Baryonyx. Okay, let's take a look at some minifigures. Okay, the colors of this 
have totally changed. These are color changing figures, and you can see this is the Indominus Rex. It is looking very, very nice. The colors are transparent, very beautiful. Just gonna put it right over here. And this is the Stegosaurus, red in color, pretty cool. And the Indoraptor has totally changed its color. Right now, it's in some sort of like aqua green, aqua greenish blue. Very beautiful. I love this color. And check out this one, the Mosasaurus. The colors have totally changed. Yep. So even in hot weather, the colors, the colors will actually change as well. It's not just water. So if you put it in a cold room, it will start to change in colors as well. Super, super awesome. Check this out. This has got to be one of the most dramatic changes. The Pyroraptor has turned from like red to this light blue. But part of it is still in dark purple right here. Yeah, it's very, very cool. These color changing figures are just so unique and interesting. Okay, it can't really stand, so you have to balance it on its tail like this. Gorgeous figure. Okay. Is this known as the Sino Tyrannus? I can't remember guys, so I need your assistant. Help me to name this figure. Okay, Epic Evolution series as well. You might want to scan it in your Jurassic World fact set. Maybe you can give me a clue. It should be a Sino Tyrannus if I'm not wrong. It comes with retractable quills. Super awesome. I don't think they are spikes, more like quills. Quills are like feathers. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Okay, and not too long ago, we actually had some of these squishy figures right here. These are super cute and adorable. These are basically the smash and squish figures. We have the T-Rex, Carnotaurus. The T-Rex looks like it hasn't slept for quite some time. The dark circles around its eyes. This is very, very cute. Of course, we have blue right here. And Pyro. Pyro Raptor at the back. Let's, let me just put them back. You can't really see them. Okay, oh yes. Back to the super colossal figures. I have asked you guys what are the names of them. Indoraptor is super easy. This is not the Apatosaurus. It is not. It is not a Drenodus. It is not a Brachiosaurus. It is the Mamanchisaurus. You guys know that will be another new super colossal figure coming out really soon. The Sauropod coming out really soon. Can't wait for it. And speaking of herbivores, here's another one, Hesperosaurus. Epic evolution figure, beautiful. It, has, it also has four spikes on its tail. So it looks kind of similar to the Stegosaurus. Gorgeous stuff. All right, let me just put this one right here. Next, Boreallo Peldar. Yep, this is a gorgeous figure from the Danger Pack. It has been a while since we see we have seen this figure again. Yep, very gorgeous one. Hopefully, Mattel can come out with more herbivores. That would be awesome. But I definitely prefer carnivores. What do you guys? Who, which one do you guys prefer? It's a favorite dinosaur, a carnivore or herbivore. Do let me know down below. And this is basically the color changing the Lophosaurus. The colors has changed quite a lot. Beautiful figure. Let me just put it right in the middle. Gorgeous stuff. And check this out. Color changing Atrociraptor Ghost and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Very, very beautiful. These color changing figures are very underrated, I feel. I feel they are so fun. More fun than all of the other minifigures that we have seen. Okay. Ineosaurus. This is... There are two different Ineosaurus. One is a one is a blue version and this is the green version. Beautiful. Let me just put this one right at the back. Gigant Spinosaurus right over here. This it's the I can't remember danger pack as well. I think so. Or is this considered the strike attack? Perhaps you can, you can call this a strike attack. I can't exactly remember the the series name. 
Next, we have this 12 inch basic figure of a Suko Mimers. This it's pretty hard for me to find. It was very hard for me to find. But I finally found it. Very cool. Let's place this. Um, let's see. I like the bright colors, so let's put it in front because it will look really good in the thumbnail right over here. Wow, gorgeous. So Sukumaima sitting next to the Baryonyx, they are both from the Spinal Sorry Die family. Next, we have a huge Triceratops. What is this known as? Epic Evolution as well. Okay, this one, we don't really have much space. So let's just put it at the back. Let's have a look at a couple of mini figures. This is a very cool figure. Velvet texture, a Padasaurus. And this, it's a color changing Conotaurus. The colors has changed quite a bit from orange to green. Beautiful. Next, we have, oh my goodness. Where is the head of the Giganotosaurus? Okay, it's right in the box. Let's pop it right in. These are from the larger eggs, and they are also color-changing figures. Beautiful one. Let me just put this one right here. It can stand pretty well. Next, Dacosaurus. And speaking of Dacosaurus, it is actually a pretty small species of prehistoric... I almost said flying reptile. A pretty small species of marine reptile. Very, very nice. Dacosaurus. Yep. I hope Mattel can come up with more and new species of marine reptiles. I think that will be awesome. Okay, one of the latest Jurassic Park figures that we have added is actually this orange Velociraptor right over here. This is a beautiful one. I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay. Next, we have the Atrociraptor. This is also one of the latest Atrociraptors. The green version is not any of the four. We do have, you know, Atrociraptor Red, Ghost, Tiger, and Panthera. This is not any of them. This is just like a generic Atrociraptor. Okay. Next, Ornithochirus, guys. Yep, another new prehistoric flying reptile new species. I am very hopeful of the new Chaos Theory because there will be a lot more new species coming out really soon. I can't wait for that. This is the Tupan Dactylus. This is not a Tapijara. It looks like a Tapijara. I don't think so. Is it pronounced as Tapijara or Tapijara? You guys let me know as well. Next, we have the Eoraptor. This is a beautiful one. Very small figure. In fact, if you can take a look at this, this is way too big. Way too big. This coat is like so big in comparison of his body. It doesn't look proportioned. But I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Okay, cute little fluffy velvety figure. Baby Triceratops from the Hatchling series of Captive Collection. And here we have the Giganot Giganotosaurus. It's very hard to pronounce this name. I always struggle to pronounce Giganotosaurus. And you guys always tell me that I pronounce it wrongly. You know, I beg your pardon. Okay, another color changing figure, Triceratops. I love the patterns on his crown. It gives it a tribal look and feel. Okay, another big figure, 12 inch Young Trinosaurus. Yep, seems like they have stopped producing more 12 inch figures guys so I'm kind of sad because I do like this series it is very simple I like it quite a, quite a lot this is one of the latest Velociraptors pull this out scan this this color is really cool it is like a pale olive color mixed with some earthy brown at the bottom or earthy grey very very beautiful Velociraptor Okay, it's not very often you find like a pale colored Velociraptor because usually they love to paint it in very very bright colors. Okay, next up. What is this? Presto Sucus. Presto Sucus Strike Attack. Let's place it right over here. 
another color changing figure guys this is the Tyrannosaurus Rex it looks very much like the smaller counterpart let me put this um, we are running out of space yeah running out of space let's just put this right in the corner right over here I'm just gonna squeeze it in yeah next Poposaurus I heard from you guys that this is actually not a dinosaur but it definitely looks looks like a dinosaur in terms of its shape it, it could be perhaps like a prehistoric animal so it's nice it's nice for Mattel to come up with a new prehistoric animal so um, this figure I'm I'm afraid we have to hide it behind because there is totally no space for it to be featured up front okay let me just grab hold of more mini figures we have baby bumpy this is super adorable this is also from the Velvety hatchling figures. This one has got to be one of the cutest one. T Rex. You can check out its surface. It's like fluffy. Yeah, velvety. It's like made of velvet, and it feels really smooth when you stroke it. Very very adorable. This texture is definitely very nice. If you compare it with the usual ones, it you know which you might get some scratches on the surface. So we have blue right there, we also have Stegosaurus, very very gorgeous stuff. Okay, next, this is one of the latest danger packs out there, Skelacrus. Not too sure whether I got the pronunciation right, but this is known as the Skelacrus. Skelacrus, S-K-I-L-E-K-U-S, Skelacrus. One of the latest one, danger pack, I'm gonna put this one right in the middle. And oh my goodness, so we have the Prestosuchus just now. This is the Prestosuchus and this is the Caprosuchus. I like this one a lot. This is the um, strike attack. Probably you press both the front legs down. The jaw will open up and I love the teeth. This is actually Aria's favorite figure among all of the smaller ones. So this is actually her favorite because of the very very cool teeth she told me about that all right i'm gonna try to put this in the middle you don't have much space as you can see okay so just now i've shown you guys okay i'm gonna move this away we have the gray triceratops and this is the green version apparently the green version it's harder to find okay Last video on Tuesday, I've shown you guys this as well. The Indominus Rex, this is actually from the Takara Tomi pack. It also comes with a new blue figure. The coloration this time is slightly different. They have painted the top part with a very nice tint of aquatic blue. So this is very, very nice. They also produce a new T-Rex. The new T-Rex has a slightly darker color scheme on top. And this is Charlie, I suppose. A new Charlie. And the last figure is actually a Mosasaurus. I'm not too sure whether I brought the, the right one because there was a previous Mosasaurus from Takara Tomi as well. So I could have brought the wrong one. But those Takara Tomi figures are great. Make sure you check out my previous video on a detailed review of that, okay? Next one is actually a Pyroraptor Epic Attack figure right here. This is a really gorgeous one. Check this out, okay? You press, you press the body, the lights will actually shine. This is a gorgeous one. This one is actually pretty new as well. We got this perhaps like a couple of weeks ago. Yep. We are just left with a couple of figures. And here we have the Epic, Epic Attack Velociraptor. So right here on the table, I don't think we only have 60. We have roughly about 80 different figures. Okay, 80, 80 latest figures from my collection. And this is a Spinosaurus. Okay, we just unboxed this not too long ago. And this one was also added pretty recently. Are there any more figures? Yes, one more. The last one. Guaibasaurus, right over here. Gorgeous one. Is this a strike attack? Yep, strike attack figure. Guaibasaurus. 
haven't seen it for quite some time and the blue pyro raptor all right i want you guys to comment down below which is your favorite figure from this video it's gonna be difficult let's have a very quick walk through to see which one it's my favorite okay guys which one it's your favorite figure i am not too sure if you ask me i don't even know which one is my favorite there are so many so many figures that i'd like in this video i'll probably choose five okay choose five baryonyx epic attack is definitely one of my top five favorite in today's video Kano Taurus, Hamlin Collection Kano Taurus, so number two probably is this is number two, I'm not too sure. Um, let me just choose three more. This Dimetrodon is beautiful as well, this vintage Dimetrodon. And let me choose two more. Hmm, perhaps the Super Colossal Indoraptor and the Marmanchisaurus, I'm not sure. I want you guys to comment down below which is your favorite figure from today's video, and I love this little globe right here, guys. The colors are not very, very strong, but it's very cool, and I like this. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I will see you very soon in the next one, probably on Tuesday or Thursday. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you tune in, and make sure you get your Chonky. It is running out really fast, okay? Thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.